Right, hello everybody, welcome to replay of Kill Bill Waltz vs Rick Reckless. So Rick has got his JFW Forever <laughs> Chaos Dwarves, wonderful, and Kill Bill has um, Underworld, yeah. So, <laughs> so Underworld are pretty terrible, but he's got a Claw Pommer with Strength and a Claw Mighty with Horns. So, you know, he's got two decent Storm Vermin. He's got a Claw Guard um, Troll, which is alright, isn't it? And he's got Glart, which is alright as well. He's got four, re four reserves, and he's got Skitter, um, who isn't on the field. But, you know, to be fair, he's got he's got players he wants to protect, so I can understand him not wanting to uh, put him on there. And he's got a Wizard, but, you know, it's a gut runner, isn't it? I think you probably want a gut runner on defense. <laughs> I think I would have definitely fielded him on defense, and, you know, maybe not fielded this shithead thrower. Um, but that's just me. Um, Rick has got oh, the skills eaten. Why will it not let me show the skills? God, I hate these replays. And I forgot <laughs> how much I hated replays. Anyway, with me is Muppet Pac-Man. Hello, Muppet. Hello, hello. And yeah, the replay system isn't the best. Hey, <laughs> hopefully, we get some see some good stars. Yeah, yeah. with Glot and uh, Skitter. But well, that's one big bench for uh, Mr. Reckless. Yeah, and he's he's benched his Garda in favour of a dirty player, which shows a statement of intent, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that's fair enough. He wants he wants the dirty player sent off in the first half. So you know he can like that's fair enough, isn't it? Like he's gonna foul foul until you send off in the first half. It's fine when you've got this many players. But we'll be upset if we don't see any fouls. And there's the first pom. We get the uh, Wanger off, which is actually pretty good against Underworld, unlike a rat team, because they only have two. Yes, yes, very good point. Uh, it looks like he's handing off to his uh, IG once his other claw bomb free. Yep. Fails it, he re rolls it. If he moved the uh, he could ball, have moved maybe both of these guys yeah. forward. This is uh, this this could have been a screen here in front of it, and the screen over here. This was, uh, and that could have gone worse for him. This could have bubbled all the way out the front. That was uh, that was shit and wrong <laughs> by Rick. <laughs> and if he had the screen, maybe he didn't have to re-roll it. Yeah, true, true. There's just no reason to not have that screen in front. Um, and we come straight in with Claw. Claw Pom, yep, gets the pile on. Gets the Kaz. Oh. Huge Kaz. Badly hurt. No Apple? No. I guess, I guess he's got enough claw, he thinks. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a perm. I, I think I'd be quite greedy as Rick in this game. I, I would. You know, they're only. They're only. They're only a uh, fucking underworld, aren't they? You know? yeah. <laughs> but he does have he does have a super goblin, so um, he doesn't have skitter on on defense against a wizard. But what he does have is Gobtastic, who has got extra arms and a big hand and two heads. So he dodges anywhere in a two plus because of stunty, and he picks up the ball in a two plus anywhere because of big hand and extra arms. So he has got quite the recovery piece. But I still think he should have absolutely had skitter on defense. Yeah. It's crazy. It could be an early wizard with this much uh, aggression. Yeah, yeah, he could have. I mean, the thing is, he, he's, he's he's at the very peak yeah, of where he's he set, can go. Yeah, he's set up too far back, I think, for the wizard. But... Yeah, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like, even if he gets there and gets out, he's not fast enough. He should have just not set up further forward, I think. But never mind. I don't know, I don't know what use. Maybe he's Oh, he's going for it, though. Yeah. He fails the dark out. There's a one. The uh, pet peeve of the uh, non tackler pickling, tackling. Yeah, I hate that. Oh, beautiful oh. scatter, though. Oh. Beautiful scatter. This is uh, rough for Rick already. It is, yeah. That was a hell of a scatter. But again, it's his own making, isn't it? Because there was no need to have this guy not moved. He could have had him out in front and it would have and been screened both. off and it would have been a lot better. Oh, oh it's double. No. Oh, he had no, a double one. You show feet and then another double. Oh boy. Probably because the replay doesn't show one at a time. Yeah. 
Uh, hopefully he did one at a time. <laughs> you would hope he did one at a time, yes. <laughs> you would hope so. Should we go for the scatter? It's uh, not good. Oh dear. One mistake has just made this a nightmare for him, hasn't it? Goes to show safe moves first. Yeah. Perfect example. Just one double one out of nowhere and Oh and the scatter again doesn't help. <laughs> oh and he's he's kind of going more out of position to get the foul on the claw pommer, which I despise. <laughs> like that's three players that could have been relevant to like, you know, recovering this position. And he sacrificed it just to kick someone in the face. Um, and he wouldn't have got a stun without those plays. He got this. <laughs> that is Wow. And but now none of those edgy hobgoblins are near the ball. Yeah, that is that I, I do not do I not like that. We get away with over the uh, really stupid. That's a claw hit as well. Jeez. Yep. <laughs> I was pretty lucky for it to, to get away with that one. But yeah, I mean the ball's here and there's no. And then the, the great goblin gets <laughs> wherever he wants. That's a hell of a gobble, isn't it? Claw Imagine if you had like four goblins like that just. <laughs> Yeah, pretty good. I mean, not like it's not like it's just two heads means they can go wherever they want, isn't it? Like it's just this is a this is just a mad goblin who can get the ball wherever it goes. But yeah, like this 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 Skaven thrower, this could have been Skipper, couldn't it? And he'd be I guess he now. wouldn't have had the leader reroll, but I guess you could. You've still got three rerolls, You'll be fine. Or, or just this goblin then. This goblin could have been it. I don't know. I would have wanted Skipper on those field. Personally. Yeah, I, I would want Skipper. Uh, but I think he, he would have, because those goblins were on the front of the uh, rule of five, so he would have had to put someone he cared about. Yeah. <laughs> Rick's rolling some horrible dice, isn't he? But he's been a bit greedy, obviously, geifying to hit with claw palm, isn't he? He could have just hit with not claw palm. Yes, sadly, it's not got like jump up or anything, so it's not. That's the KO. But you know, like, you could have just blitzed it. You could have just three dice blitzed the goblin, couldn't he? With... Oh, we're fouling it. Do we have a bribe for Rick, or is it just. We I think he just wants to take out the claw pump because he thinks the only way he can lose is the claw pump. Which would be a fine way to think if you hadn't just lost the ball on your offense <laughs> and have no rerolls on turn three. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like. That would have been, like, you know, situationally, at the start of the match, I, w I would be thinking the same as Rick here. Like, this is the only way I can lose the game, is the claw pommer goes on a tear and wrecks my team. But he's lost the ball on his offense and he's got no rerolls. This is not the time to be fouling every turn. I really don't like this, this, this turn. He could have... He's got Juggernaut, so he could have blitzed the stand firm with him and then run around and... Uh, Block the hobgoblin at the end. I remember seeing this in, in real time and thinking I hated this turn. But he's managed to get out of it. He's <laughs> all rabbi playing for Rick. I know, right? Rick is just murdered. This is how he played though in the first round. He just he was just all about the pylons. Didn't care about the ball at all. Um, Sometimes it works. It's better when you're on defense. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not so good when it's your offensive drive. Uh, yeah, this is... It's, it's just hard to see how Rick recovers, isn't it? Yeah. As, I, I mean, guess. especially as he just didn't try to recover. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for, for, for three turns. So we're just three dice and goblins. Yeah. Can't pile it. Okay, he can't pile one. I stand corrected. He will prove you wrong. <laughs> and you can try a GFI and he double ones. <laughs> Why are these other two players not moving first? Yeah, that's the thing, right? This this guy could have GFI'd as well. Like yeah, to be yeah. fair, he that, could have maybe GFI'd three But I don't times. think that Hobgoblin's ever GFI'd. No, no, the Hobgoblin should have moved back. I, I guess the Hobgoblin's going to foul again, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> Couple of flip me's and woos, yep. <laughs> That's all you need. Woo! <laughs> so it's Kill Bill now, are you pretty happy? 
You've got no. wizard still, you have the boar. You have Glot still, you have Skitter for later. Yeah. You could this could have been further out to make it three dodges. Because at the moment Rick could roll a six and then uh, have a four plus dodge in to hit the ball with dodge. So he has left on the double dodge to hit the ball, but it's not easy, is it? I guess that goblin that failed the dodge would have maybe secured it a lot better. Yeah, maybe, maybe if you tag if you tag him or something. But I mean, with that tag. Oh, we are going in. So, he's brick tackle, and then we just rolled a six and pound. <laughs> yep. So he was just going for the six, which, to be fair, is thirty percent, right? He's, he has dodge, so it was a thirty percent dodge to hit the ball. Um, and then he gets the perfect scatter back and to again, his ball carrier. Kill Bill could have made that even harder. Yeah, he could have. But... Kill Bill could have made it harder, but um, I mean, he didn't. He didn't have to, right? This was a hard stall. This was a hard stall. He didn't. He didn't have to go for the. He didn't have to. He absolutely didn't have to. Um. Concentrating too much on Rick's somewhat ludicrous six plus dodge <laughs> um, misses how bad the stall square was. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, yeah, and he the, just, the, yeah. the stall shape was not ideal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Jim said, they should be, if they were one back, could have made it even harder. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's fair. And also, the, 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 if it knocked over the square, the ball would have gone to would not have involved it being. Scattered. You know, yeah. Scattered to where it is now. Yeah, yeah. I guess so, he just relied too much on that last goblin working on his dodge, but we'll see it there. Yeah. So, yeah. To be fair, there was there was a lot of things wrong with what Kill Bill did, um, but I I don't think that Rick had to go for the thirty percent dodge. I think he you know he like we go with a lot of these things. If it's better for you to try and do that than rely on your opponent yeah. doing something else. But I mean, if he'd forced the score there, then he's got three turns to score himself to get one-one. Yeah, terrible, I didn't hate exactly. I didn't hate the surf and force the score. Um, yeah. I mean, with a couple of bulls and things, that that should be okay. Um, but obviously, this is this is a lot better. Yeah, this is fantastic. <laughs> uh, because remember, it was a turnover at this point anyway, wasn't it? So this is a recovered turnover. Yeah, unbelievable, unbelievable swing. And hello, PC. Hello, by the way. Yes. <laughs> just some crazy games today. Just swings and roundabouts. <laughs> Almost like Blood Bowl isn't perfectly balanced or fair. Oh, imagine um, that. Shocking. It's almost like it's a little children's game. <laughs> 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 like hungry, hungry hippos. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, with jump up, like, you know, like there's no reason not to pile on there, is there? It's not one I hate. That's fine. It's, I mean, it's such a good chance of a removal, even though it didn't. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, his uh, removal hasn't been amazing. He's got some KOs, but <laughs> to remove five players, it's it's all right, isn't it? <laughs> I'd take it. It's yeah, better than so I usually coming back, Jim. But I mean, it, it's it helps win this drive, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. And then suddenly this blitzer that ran entirely the wrong way is now in a moderately useful position. It's... Mm. He was just scared of being scared of being fouled, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. Rick had basically given up the drive, fouling him continuously, yeah. <laughs> made him run away, but then it's got him back relevant. <laughs> Amazing. Yes, I mean, I would have run it away, but I would probably have run it away to the other end of the field, where I would now be hopelessly <laughs> unable to do anything about this drive. Yeah. <laughs> Is he going to uh, rely on GFIs again? Because they've worked well for him so far. <laughs> <laughs> All those GFIs. Right, so I think the fireball here is a terrible, terrible, terrible idea. I do too. Oh, something tells me that there might be a fireball coming. I don't see what you're looking to gain here. You know, you were in a great position, you had turned him over, now you haven't. You're 1-0 down the half, that's not the end of the world. Yeah. Yes, there's been a lot of removals, but you'll get two KO rolls on them. It should all be all right. Yeah. And you have your own core hits in your drive. Bolts. Yeah. He didn't even fireball. He bolted. Oh my god. 
Yeah. Oh, that's terrible. I think that's even worse. Yeah, that's terrible. So what are you going to do about that? I mean, you can bounce someone onto it, but... <laughs> he's really coming. Hope... He's oh, coming he's got in. the recovery Three double. Eight, isn't he? but if anything, it pushes it to a better position. He's got the recovery gobble. But the recovery goblin can solve everything. <laughs> Always trust you, goblin. I didn't like leaving it there, though. I thought yeah, that created two options. Did it win out of Did it? Was it out of go for it? I think so. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if the throw was. I guess it would be a like a six plus random throw, but that's how shit. No, I I really hated the the bolt there. I mean, I would have hated a fireball, but <laughs> I didn't even consider the bolt. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would have given it up for lost. But Kill Bill and Rick play in a different way to thine eye, Jimmy. That is true. Yeah. He's oh, he's dodge. done the four plus dodge. Who's to say if it's wrong? Exactly. He's done the four plus dodge. Yeah, it does the four plus. Could have done it with the bull too. Of course, there was a space for the bull to dodge backwards and do the same serve. He could have done. Could have saved Grot. Oh man, Rick's got Rick's got a chance for Rick dice. Doesn't want to catch that, of course. Because the AG Hobgob is going to pick it up. Oh, and he fails the catch. Oh. And there we go. The uh, ball could have even got it, and he still could have scored. So the bolt did its job to some degree, didn't it? It um, it stopped the score. And he, he might get uh, get to uh, score himself, might he? No, I think he's going for a removal, I guess. Well, I think it was Muppet that spotted that the reason I uh, pretended to do a shit turn seven in my game um, was so that I didn't have to face two line of scrimmage hits. Uh, one on turn eight and one on turn nine, so... You know, there is some value sometimes in not scoring. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, there you go. That was Rick's drive. Ah, uh, no troll. What's going on in this game, Ayeti? Uh, what happened is that Rick uh, caught the ball on a Chaos Dwarf turn one on his uh, his receive. Tried to hand off. That failed. He had created a very bad bobble box. It all was in a terrible place. And then next turn he tried to solve it by stacking three go for its on his bull, <laughs> who then uh, failed one of them with sure feet, uh, and then failed the, another one. So he, he managed to, in two not particularly brilliant turns, turn the ball over to the underworld. They then drove successfully down the pitch, picked a terrible stall, stall square. Not terrible, to be honest, just a, a slightly weak stall square. Yeah. Um, there was the, better options than he did. Yeah, a slightly weak-shaped defending and also too near the end zone. So that when the bull did manage a break tackle in and then a 6-plus with re-roll because of dodge, it onto the ball, it managed to get two dice, knock the ball out of bounds beyond the touchdown line, which bounced back where an agility hobgoblin picked it up and ran up the length of the field. The bolt took it down, but Rick recovered nearly for nil-nil at the half. Is that about fair? That's 100% accurate, I would say. So I guess you're pretty happy the wizard has gone at least. Yeah, Rick, enough, very happy. Sure. <laughs> Rick should have been 1-0 down with wizard still in hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But instead it's 0-0 with wiz gone. Yeah, so dream uh, half for Rick. still a much nastier team. But, you know, Bill's got some options here. He's got some very fast players. He's got some strong players. He has his claw. Yeah. It looks like he's, he's going... He's for... KO recoveries, so, you know... It's the end of the world. Looks like a sort of fast score here. Yeah. Going up with the other one. Yeah, I'm not quite sure why. Mm. We have all the time in the world, we don't need to. Mm. Mm. Six score guy not, pile, not allowing himself the option of the pile on. Just kill it, it's fine. It's the kill. So now Rick is facing a team with the ball, men up, and at nil-nil. And one of his bulls gone. Unwinnable, surely. I don't know why you like, avoided Why is either. everyone running away from the ball? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't know why he didn't take these elicits. He's got enough claw to yeah. take them all out. Yeah. Like, what if he just removed all three charts with claw and then... 
I, I mean, he is clearly looking for the quick score, but look how exposed Skitter is right now. Yeah, I don't like that. Okay, he's, he's shot it up. You know, if this, and I know it's a two-heads goblin that's going to dodge off to shore that, that space, but it's still a two-plus that you'd have to re-roll this early in the turn. We've seen early. many two-pluses fail already. Well, they do. About a sixth of the time, I hear. I don't believe that. <laughs> or about right. 50% if it's over the touchdown line. <laughs> <laughs> You just put three so dice in your goblin. Defending by sort of not defending. Yeah, classic rift. Isn't it? It's funny, it's funny because when he's like Kislev or something, he's like, rah, 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 I must go for the ball every single turn. And when he's kicked Chorf, he's like, I don't give a shit about the ball. <laughs> just let me go <laughs> yeah. on things. <laughs> just gonna kill stuff. <laughs> hey, let's pile on, guys. <laughs> Flip <laughs> me, didn't even die. <laughs> Woo! He's still fouling. <laughs> That's interesting, isn't it? Like, I liked fouling the uh, Corpoma repeatedly. I'm not so sure it's worth fouling with shithead. <laughs> Don't you think a really ordinary vanilla skilled goblin is worth fouling, Jim? But why not? I just don't think it's worth the risk of, you know, not losing your dirty player. Like, losing a player is fine. I would have done it with a rookie. He's I'm got wrong. the bench, but yeah. yeah. I think you're absolutely spot on. Trying to get the numbers back, trying to whittle the underworld down isn't terrible, but pick a better target or use something you don't mind getting thrown up. Both balls out. That's the yep. reason. Well. Oh, yeah. So you have a power apple. Power apple, the second ball. Well, you've got to, don't you? Yeah, probably. You can't be out both balls. Even if they score, what if neither come back? You're screwed. Yeah, yeah that's the thing, isn't it? Only 50 50 to come back. So he's, he's retreating now? He's like happy with. Yeah, I think now that he's down the apple, he's thinking, oh, well, we can stall it, huh? He's got Skitter on the dirty player, so the dirty player can't go and foul the claw plumber. <laughs> yeah, which I like, you know. Skitter not having. Um, his dirty player not having even block means that Skitter's reasonably protected there, though. I hate yeah, that reroll, by the way. Don't know about you. Yeah. He's got, he's got I, an extra one off the kickoff, didn't he? Yes, but this is still a very likely game to go to maybe overtime, and they're not long on rerolls. Yeah, I get, mm. yeah, the overtime is a. Uh, That's that adjustment from CCL to overtime thinking that people really often fail with. Yeah, so. So he has retreated, but he's left plenty up there, hasn't he? Oh, there's the power up on Power up on him! Yeah, God. <laughs> yeah, goblin! Skill was go He's gonna score, Jim. He's gonna level. We need him to level. He's 5 SPP. What are they yeah, bloody doing? I, it's almost impossible to describe how much I hate that app. And I'm a big fan of power app. But... Oh, I wanted that guy to die, Jeff, just because the app was gone. That was interesting, wasn't it? Mm. Yes, and particularly to power Apo when you know one of your good players is literally just about to be fouled. Is yeah. um, very confident. Let's, let's use that phrase. Or batshit mental. I mean, you know, your mileage may vary. Yeah. Oh dear. I think I much preferred hitting the stand firm one next to Glad because then you're reinforcing, aren't you? Okay, it's hitting. Yeah. It's getting to Claw Pom. Well, not Claw Mighty there, Claw Pom. That's nice. But you've got to think about sculpting your drive, haven't you? And scoring in turn eight and winning the game. And it's more, much more important than just hitting a Claw Pommer. Yes, but also that one in nine reroll to a one in nine is, is awful. Yeah. And as the ball was reasonably safe at that point, I may well have dodged off. Yeah. Because that's such an important piece. Yeah, yeah, I, I like dodging away if you do that, but I, I just literally would have the guy anyway, I think. Not just oh, being oh, clever oh. after the fact. <laughs> I, I do think it was, you just better supported and... Yeah, no, I agree. Way. I mean, it's a huge ship if he gets it, but it's... If it was Clawpom... high variance. Yeah, if it was Clawpom, I think I, may, I might may have made it, you know. Clawpom in his Clawpom is, is, is different than just Claw Mighty in his Clawpom. Piling on, that's not his jump up one, is it? Of no. course he's piling 
going on? I mean, it's did, was there a question in your head? <laughs> no. Did you, did you see the hit and think, oh, he's not going to crawl on this? <laughs> Gets the pow huge. That gives him 2D angle out as well, doesn't it? And there's a cannon. Oh, yeah, hot problems remove stuff, not chalk. <laughs> Yeah, and this is the thing, right? Now now Glatt's getting 2D down. Now if he blitz there, even if it had been the board down, this isn't as terrible, is it? Yep. Now, the actual pocket where the ball is, is nicely completely ignored by Rick in that turn. Um, <laughs> yeah. but, which is nice of him. But, yeah, it's, um, you know, there's a lot of problems elsewhere on the team, isn't there? Yeah. And again, I think Rick's accepting he's going to be scored on and just looking for attrition at this stage so that he can win his drive back and win in overtime. Yeah, but it's nil-nil, isn't it? Like, this is a yeah. fucking risky play by Rick here. Yeah. Incredible I think Kill Bill can, can eke a couple of stalls and squares. It's good stall, uh, stall turns out. Then this is suddenly really bad. Yeah. So if it's me, I'm prioritizing getting something over towards this uh, he... this cage that looks dangerous. Why did he geofine? It these things can't be known, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm giving up trying to understand this game. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is... Well, I mean, it's it, these are two very talented players on their day. Um, just clicking stuff and seeing what happens. It's, it, it was what I thought. <laughs> Yeah. They're taking the purple chest challenge where they where they yeah, just... where blind falls. <laughs> oh, play shit win anyway. Um, <laughs> and doing that go for it whilst leaving this, you know, goblin that we are pot and exposed. It's weird, isn't it? Mm. There were some very strange choices at times in this game. Set Porco in range. I'm sure we all have yeah. nightmares where a rowdy bull comes up our rear. <laughs> <laughs> Fault Force has got a fan out of it, in fact. <laughs> he gets the pow. Huge player to uh, get out here. Doesn't bang him out. Will he pile on? If he piles on, he scores, right? Oh, he's, he's yeah, he just got anyway. king. For a bunch of core, this is not really an injury infested game, is it? Just KOs. Yeah, not, no, a lot. not one of those where you see people re roll KOs into stuns, which is always my favourite thing. Oh, so two plus because of the extra arms. So that was Ben um, Dodge. And but it, there's also two plus and I'm not and I'm not uh, and I'm not Oh yeah, good point. Good yes, point. Two plus, two plus. And then the GFI obviously has your feet. That goblin looks ridiculous with all his mutations. Yeah. So yeah, Rick, 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 Rick's strategy of just not defending has worked out pretty well, hasn't it? I mean, I get why he wanted that on hit on that uh, on that half goblin, but I felt there was a stall there. Yeah. But you know, once bitten twice shy, he'd stalled the half before, and it gone. Rick had just gone. Yeah, I'm going to ignore your cage and just wander in anyway. Yep. Yeah. So perhaps why once bitten twice shy. That's true. So now Rick's got four turns. I feel if he had two, it would be game over. I think if he had three, it would be very tough. I think four is plenty for Chaos Dwarves. Yep. Yeah. Especially with the uh, IG Hob Goblins running yeah, about. He's, he's got two Edge 4 Hob Well, one's, one's KO'd, but he, you know, he could have had two Edge 4 Hob Goblins, couldn't he? So he has got more options, potentially, like, yeah, but four turns. But a bull thus, still one bull down. Yeah, he's, he's down a bull and down an Edge 4, which, you know, he got unlucky not getting them back, I guess, getting yeah. them back. But then uh, Kill Bill has failed two on his. Troll, which is... I think Kill Bill has a, a babe as well. I wouldn't be surprised he was done a lot of TV. He does, he? yeah. Yeah, so he's really cool. He has a babe, possibly even two, but no, I think it's one. We don't look at how it's close And then we just injure everything on the other list. That's how we do it. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, yes, but also, I mean, the goblins were due because they've been hit a lot with Mighty Blow and piled on to and been fine, so. 
it's not that surprising to see the odd one disappear, is it? Yeah. Rick loving the pylons here. L'équipe se prend encore un pain. Enfin, comme on dit, pas de pain, pas de gain. Pour qu'il y a la vision, j'entends. I kind of hate blitz pylons. Just because you're always stranded, aren't you? Yeah. Like, Especially since it's not the jump up one. And yeah. particularly as it, it doesn't need, you know, any assists. There's no one there making it anything other than just the easiest foul in the world if he chooses to. Yeah. So there we are, here comes a bit of reinforcement. And the uh, kick was pretty great from Gil Bill though, they went all the way back. Yeah, kick's lovely. Yeah, incredible kick. Okay. This is making this four turner look a bit tricky, isn't it? Actually? It certainly is, and hence he's retreated the ball so it can't be based, so that he can try and get it active next turn in season space. Tried to reinforce the claw pommer to stop it getting uh, fouled back, and throw another foul. Because... <laughs> He's got to blitz him. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Don't you just blitz the hobgoblin, foul the claw pommer, and pretty much draw a defensive shape where you are? Yes. Or you blitz this completely irrelevant hobgoblin out on the side. I don't hate it. It's a vulnerable piece, and it requires no support to do. But I still think there's better choices. Yeah, there's that. You generally, I think. You know, all things being equal, as a rule of thumb, uh, with as many, as many, uh, what's it called, you know, disclaimers as I can muster, blitzing the furthest forward player on the opposing team is a pretty decent idea, isn't it? It's, it's certainly always something that should be a consideration, is that the blitz this turn. Yeah. And instead, not only did he not do him, he ran away from his claw from there. Which would be okay yeah, if it was I'm... only one. But he's got two, so he's not, he's not you know, avoiding it. But it gives up so much space up on that left flank. Yeah. I mean, I kind of like that he's put some pressure into the backfield, but it's it's meant that his defensive shape in front of this team's just fallen apart. Yeah. And he can't lose to, can't afford to lose players at the front because he's no. already lost so many. No, it does make this turn really, really key for Rick. Yeah. So... Kill Bill's gone all in on uh, on stopping on his next turn. So how Rick deals with this turn comes important. You know, keep all your players up awesome. and active. And oh yeah, pile on, of course. That's the leader gone for the over. -time. And obviously blitz forwards because you know all these underworld in your backfield are are not to be worried about. Those star players now, they're fine. And move all your team forward so that it's not reinforcing. Ooh. And then move the ball last, of course, in case you need to do any go for it. <laughs> and then do a four plus, because, you know, rats aren't agile or fast. <laughs> so if it fails, it'll be fine. But it didn't fail. It needed a reroll, but the ball's got it. I mean, look, I'm joking about that risk. It is a risk, because look how quick those two rats are, and just how much they could have done to this team <laughs> if that had gone to the ground. But. On the other hand, it's it succeeding, and it's a three out of four to succeed. It's now on a piece that can move nine every turn, and is strength four, which makes it really tough. Yep. But I hated it. I think you can probably tell. <laughs> I thought you didn't mind it. No, no. I mean, it's. I can understand why he did it. <coughs> I've done it. Yeah. I, I mean, there is some upsides to it. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. That's. He's got to move nine. This is turn 15. He's got to move nine yeah. forward both turns. Yeah. So I guess it was an answer to oh, that. Move ten. The bull had been further forwards if more dwarfs had come back to defend the ball. You know, the bull could already be in range. God knows half his team are up where the bull could have been. Oh, dear. But now suddenly he's in a position where quite a lot of things have to go right. Yeah. And also because he's blitzing, he's losing one movement. Just blitzing. Yep. Yeah, but he's moving seven, so it's actually amazing that he's plus movement right now. Yeah, because he's, he's, he can move ten. Yeah. And look, Rick's learned he's doing the go for its one at a time. That's unbelievable. When he's got no option but to make all of them. Yeah, that's the whole way. Fails his jump up. Oh, well. He just one dies instead. <laughs> oh, dear. I guess it's better than getting hit by claw bombs, so even on a skull, it's just a problem. Yeah, it, it, it probably is, isn't it? But then, 
And not following up is good too, because you need to take that claw palm hit so that you've got the space in front of this ball. Um, you know, I'm a great believer in don't stay on claw if you don't have to, but sometimes you have to. And marking still happens even against claw, because sometimes you need that piece and not able to move easily. Well, he's rolled his three plus. He has. Look, Clark cannot dodge. He's re rolled. What? He's got a re roll, hasn't he? He hasn't got any choice. He's got to. Uh, he's got to do everything he can to make it a little bit harder, hasn't he? For here. Yeah. Well, because I mean, if he stops him here, he wins. Yep. I guess he's yeah. Just like that the idea of all the Brutal, because it now makes it really fairly simple. Yeah. Maybe if he was the last one to move, I would have probably re-rolled. Since it's, it wasn't like finished, I just didn't like it. <laughs> Only a push. Oh god. <laughs> what a disaster. Just break tackle. So now he has to do break tackle with the dodge to cover it. So that's a. Um, uh, that was a 2 plus, 4 plus, 2 plus, 2 plus, 2 plus. But he had sure feet to cover the three 2 pluses at the end. And he had dodge to cover both dodges. So, and he had a chance and break tackle to roll a 5 one. plus. Yeah. And he just rolled a 5 anyway for the first dodge. Yeah, so fucking. Um, <laughs> so one might call that Rick Dice, or slightly lucky. Uh, but it worked. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes, Mr. Troll wakes up. Mm. <laughs> like, I mean, I, I try to. At the same time, I don't just want to say everything was terrible because you know there needs to be shades of grey. Um, I thought that bull handoff was needed because of how he'd you know set his team up, but it's not how I would have planned to have got that. Yeah. I guess he needed to plan ahead after seeing the kick. Yeah. Yeah, and it, I mean, certainly it was an answer, but it, it did involve that rather risky four plus with two very rowdy rats there. But, you know, needs must when the devil drives. It's a plan that got it done, so. So I guess Rick won the toss here. Yes, Rick won the toss. Yeah. So now, surely, surely this will be an easy, uh, this will be an easy drive down the field against crappy underworld. <laughs> <laughs> well, not that many underworld, unfortunately. They are now starting to. The, the removals are catching up, even if the troll's back. Yeah. Is, is this the best you can build underworld? Like, it, it seems like. Can't do much better. It, it's not bad at all, is it? It's, it's, it's not really not. You anymore. know, a strength four claw, a horns claw. I mean, the troll isn't fantastic, but he's okay. Yeah. I'd love to see Stan firm on him too, or tentacles. Yeah, oh, goblins are nice. Yeah. Rick got his ball carrier back. So. <laughs> yeah, this is all Rick, isn't it? It's going to be nice. <laughs> We've only got one re-roll each. That easily could be a factor. It um, could, yeah. You know, well, you can just casually throw a five or a six when you need it. It's less of a factor. <laughs> <laughs> Has the ball not moved yet? I don't think so. There we go. I mean, Flicky, just to expand on that a little, I, I try not to be sort of meme level, oh, this is all terrible all the time. I mean, if I see good things, I like to say that, but I think if you're trying to be an honest commentator, you've got to be not afraid to criticise even people you love. And I mean, I love Rick. I think he's great and a good, decent coach. I don't think anyone can hate Rick. I think it's impossible to, isn't it? Exactly. Well, maybe the maybe the families of the of the dead people's heads that are in his freezer. <laughs> He's so done. <laughs> have a thousand, you know, young people's heads in his fridge, doesn't he? That's. <laughs> this is a bit ropey, isn't it? This is encouraging. Uh, this is encouraging some pressure here if he powers I down. I mean, I'm tempted to say that from such an incredibly strong position, surely a shape better than this could have been found. Um, so I will. Surely from such a dominant position, a shape better than this could have been found. <laughs> yeah, 
I don't think I'd make that 3D. I think it's better to have the two players to react afterwards. Personally. Yeah, but I mean, as well as making it 3D, it's giving him a hit on the uh, on the dwarf to the left as we're looking of the troll. Um, so it had a second purpose as well, but it it does use a lot of his team for not seemingly a huge game. Yeah, and only ish. It was still only 1D, wasn't it? From the cobble. Yeah, and now we're hitting 1D with a goblin, which I just don't understand. No. There's been a lot of Jim Bushes this game, though. No? Yeah, there's been a lot of pushes, yeah. Going after to go up, get him. Yeah, well, I mean, he, he gave him that with the 1D from the Goblin. It's, it doesn't work. Or oh, Skitter, sorry, not Goblin. Skitter's. So, this... so that 1 die absolutely full punished. <laughs> oh, yeah. but it loses Skitter. So what has Skitter done this game? <laughs> Got He's been there. Muppet, he's been there. Yeah. Trust me, if you get tough times, sometimes a friend that'll just be there is of great value. <laughs> now, what the bloody hell are we doing going this near the troll and all the nasty players when we don't need to? Why are we doing this? I'll tell you why, Jim. It's because we plan to hit with a hobgoblin without block. <laughs> yep. <laughs> do, do we like that? We Not need to really. two dice men's and one dice. <laughs> oh, fuck off. <laughs> I can tell you whether I like that, and the answer is no. <laughs> it's pretty good if you just 1D power everything, though, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, look, oh, the, the troll just killed him. somebody. Oh, no, I'm not either. sure it's a long term strategy for success. Yeah. And sure enough, that troll that we didn't need to be anywhere near now <laughs> takes out one of Rick's best chorfs. <laughs> and because we power rapoed our second bull, we can't do anything about it. It's mm. dead. No, he's only badly hurt, wasn't it, I think? Yeah, he's yeah. only badly hurt. But, you know, it could in another dead. world. Could have been dead. I mean, dead for this game. Yeah. But, yeah. He's dead? Yeah. <laughs> that job is dead, though. And that is one of Rick's best players. Yep. Oh, yep. boy. Yes, I was slightly misremembering. I knew one died. I didn't want to give spoilers away in case you did. <laughs> um, <I> didn't <laughs> so there we are. Yes. And now that job's dead because of the power up. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Brutal. And Rick's still got a score somehow, hasn't he? Yep. With all these pushes, he's not getting anywhere. And suddenly the underworld, from being very bad on numbers, and particularly with the loss of Skitter, it's now still completely horrible, but a little bit better. Yeah. Isn't that like all the time with Underworld? It's always hope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah but usually you've got the pieces that give you a bit more hope. I mean, here you've got the troll and the strength four claw and your nice recovery goblin. But, yeah. I mean, Glart, I, I think Glart's massively overrated. Yeah, His is. strength does a decent job. His claw frightens some people, but not me, because he doesn't come with mighty bow or pile on. He's going to get a lot of stuns, but... There's a time and place for him, like, if, yeah. you, need, if you don't have any claw. Yeah. yeah, he's a lot yeah, less guess. exciting when you've got a, a strength four claw bomber and a strength uh, a horns a claw mighty guy, isn't he? So. And your troll has claw. Yeah. Yes, I mean, it, you know, Underworld in the rule set after BB2 get all sorts of better options. I mean, Creek would have been a possible game changer for this game. Who's the um, the rat ogre ball and chain with move five, prehensile tail and mighty blow, all for 130k. I mean, that would have been lovely, wouldn't it? You can decimate dwarves because they're so slow with a good ball and chain. And they would have had a gutter runner without having to get skittered. Yes, I think Fat Glart at MBM Kill is going to be even more central to how Underworld planned because they've lost the second blitzer. Yeah. Um, and I slightly prefer Fat Glart, but. Yeah, I think I do too. God, you might, can you imagine if like uh, he hadn't just. if he'd defended better. Kill Bill at <laughs> the end of yeah. the first half. He would have, he yeah. like, you know, he nearly stopped it anyway. And he could have yep. had another, like, two or three players back there, couldn't he? That he just sent forward a pressure, which didn't yep. do a whole lot. Nope. What Except get isolated. But, yeah. Why are we going to the wars to troll again? <laughs> it's going to call on us. Yeah, we, we want, for some reason, we want to put the ball next to one of the most dangerous figures on the pitch so that we can hit it with a hot copy. I mean, it's obvious, Mappa. I don't know why you have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not like a push would be dangerous or anything because 
you know, you certainly shouldn't try and dodge that troll onto the ball. <laughs> and he's got assist right there. And as Rick's done a six, you know, a six changes this entire game. Yeah. And if you can set a reasonable defence, and of course the problem here is the underworld really can't. They've got so little there. Yeah. But we missed it because we were too busy joking about things. Um, he had a lovely claw hit on the bull that Rick left exposed last turn. Unfortunately, it failed, which is why Glantz on the edge is to give that assist. But um, that would have been a huge game changer too. You can get his horns. He's got tackle. Where's his tackle? His claw pommel was already hit, hasn't it? Yeah. His claw pommel could have just uh, dodged in on the six, couldn't he? Could have taken the tackle. That would have been... There are some ways this could have uh, yeah, been slightly sexy, but. Uh... <laughs> I feel instead, for the guy. Instead, we're knocking over hobgoblins because. Well, I mean, you know, I don't hate hitting hobgoblins. And then, of course, we, yes, skull out with the troll. Which would have given the claw pommer a 5 plus for two dice if that had been even a push, but not to be. The, I'm guessing the two heads wrestle could have gone in. Yeah, yeah also, yeah. That would have been one die, but it, it could have got there easier. I mean, it, certainly there were options, but that double skull completely ruined what was a very promising position for Kill Bill. And saved what was, a, I thought, an appalling set of choices from Rick in terms of deciding to... I mean, just ignore the troll. It's so slow. Just be somewhere else. You're quite fast. And it doesn't have blocks, so it can one in nine quite easily. Yeah, as we just saw. So I, I don't know why knocking the troll over has been such a priority. I mean, I guess it's the claw. And not needing, you know, having lost a chore to dead, another one off the field, you need to keep your AV9. Or this drive could still stall, despite there not being a lot of underworld left. But I didn't love going for the troll time after time. I thought it was overly optimistic for the game. Yeah, basically Rick's been kind of like playing as if this is a CCL game where the only thing he cares about is his players getting injured. So he's just going to pile on every turn. He's going to hit the claws as much as he can. Yep. And, you know, hold Develop a team, game them. some SPP and don't worry about the result. Yeah. Which is a wild way of the play a playoff game, isn't it? <laughs> it's like PC said before, like switching from CCL to playoffs. So, so hard for some people. MBM kills theory is that Rick can't climax with the troll standard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, oh. a, that's a reasonable. Uh, yeah. it, it's a guess. I mean, we don't know. <laughs> uh, one of his better ones, are Yeti. The one with stand firm claw, my will. Maybe God. And not the claw pommel, but one of the really solid sort of the ones that actually win you the game by turn after turn being just annoying as hell. Oh, there's another one gone. Yep. Yeah. This has been pretty well timed, you know. There's a, there's another CCL game about to start in like two minutes, and then the, oh, which fantastic. is you know the one that it's all worked out perfectly. That's nice. I'm still too full of roast lamb to, to coach myself. <laughs> this is a perfect eight turn stall, I'm sure, in overtime. Yeah. Yeah, pretty good, isn't it? Two the Notorious, pretty good. Yeah, Bernard, but that, I'm just saying that's like how he's played it, right? That, that's the way he's played it. It's not, you know, maybe he was trying to win and stuff, but um, the that's the way it looks from an outside perspective. Yeah, yeah. And there is, you know, value in trying to beat Underworld through attrition because they don't come strong and they don't tend to come long. But <laughs> there was a time when it looked like he was prioritizing killing things over any hope of winning the game. I mean, that's all in the past now, but... Mm. Yes, exactly. Um... <laughs> Lev de Boomer. I've de Boomer? LVDA. LVDA Boomer? Hmm. Maybe. Let's just say Boomer. London Vehicle Driving Agency? Who knows? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Sounds like an outwork account for me. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, absolutely. You know, there is a time to do that, and there's a time perhaps to prioritize that. So who is the imposter right now? Hey. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Based cage, by the looks of the things. Let's just throw a few rerolls in there. Oh boy. 
I mean, he, he's got to because the time pressure's on him. Because having lost the pieces, he moved sideways instead of forwards. But I mean, it's those are you know strength two pieces basing his base cage. So yeah, it's not terrible. It's not that, terrible. This one's strength three though. Or it's... Mm -hmm. He just dodged his sticks. One D. Yeah. And he gets away with it. I mean, that was if that was a push, it's 2D on the ball, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. With tackle. With yeah. tackle, yeah. And it's, you know, even in overtime, that's not the first time that Kill Bill had some fantastic opportunities that just didn't quite materialize. But it is the last time. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, there you go. That was that was a match. Hello, Tatterfield. <laughs> Congrats to it. I mean, Underworld are pretty much the ultimate high rolling glass cannon team if built. If I would think I was right. So, of course, they can take water, um, but they just need to get that snowball going nice and early. They had free claw. They could have easily just clawed the yeah. way to victory. And I'm sorry, I'm going to have to wrap it up very quickly, everybody. So, congratulations, Rick. Thank you, PC and Muppet. Commiserations to Kill Bill Waltz. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.